Hey guys, Adam0562 here, and uh, gonna be making a video on my Arabesque 66 possible het albino male. Um, yeah, here he is. He's in a little six quart bin. He's a year old this summer. So yeah, fed him yesterday, so he might have like food in his stomach still. Not yesterday, two days ago, so it should be fine now. But, um, see how it's not really. See all those little dots? Those are the albino showing. Like, that's. Everyone keeps saying that's the albino coming out in him. But, um, I'm gonna breed him to my Motley. Or breed my ghost to my Motley. I'm probably gonna do both one year at a time. But, uh, yeah, probably. Cause it, the Arabesque Motley's look really cool, but um, I'm gonna get hopefully a jungle pet for albino for him also to breed. Hopefully, and breed him next season. Definitely not this season because he's not big at all. Um, I don't know the. He was I don't know he's small for his age I think. But um, I'm gonna take him out here. Wait one minute. He's never tried to bite me or anything, so that's pretty good. Here we go. He's particularly small um, compared to my hand. So, yeah, he's probably a good two foot. But, um, yeah. But, like, his tail's beautiful. You see all those little black spots? How it looks really dirty. Everyone keeps saying that's the albino coming out in him. All these little spots. Is the albino indeed? Like the head for albino coming out. Um, yeah, he's a. We got this guy at the Reptile Expo in Red Deer. Um, he's a pretty good buy. The guy I got him from was from Montreal, so. You just want to get rid of them. Um, got them for a pretty cheap price, also. I think I got them for two fifty, so it's pretty cheap. Um, and then I got my ghost at the expo, also at the Red Deer Reptile Expo. And I got—I just went to the Calgary Reptile Expo. So the Red Deer Reptile Expo was like. In August or the end of August, and then uh, the Red or the Calgary Reptile Expo was last weekend. And I got a new ball python there. I'm gonna make a video of him soon. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool snake. I'll uh, do it for more videos since a lot a lot of people like my motley video. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna do what I'm breeding this year for ball pythons, boas, and corn snakes. I'm gonna do a breeding plans video for this season. Um, I'm gonna start to cool them down soon because it's uh, midway. It's like the 20 something of September. I'll check right now. It's uh, yeah, it's the 20th of September. So I'll be cooling them down probably October-ish late October and start breeding November put everyone together see how we do this season first year of breeding boas and ball pythons but not corns so we'll see how that goes um, but yeah I'll do a breeding little thing I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm gonna do it this weekend cause I'm gonna get some more ball pythons this weekend from uh, my boss, but um, 
yeah after that i'll have all the snakes and breeding this year and i'll be doing some breeding plans and what i'm breeding i'll show you guys just everything then i'll do a reptile video not too long after that but uh yeah i'll probably be this weekend till i make my next video but uh yeah this guy's tame as heck never tried biting or anything never hissed good eater eating a frozen thawed pup Rat pups. <clears throat> He's like, I want him back. Just a beautiful snake. I like how the bottom has like kind of like a right here has the motley tail or the motley like little pattern. Like just like right there, that part. But yeah. Hopefully he gets up to size for next season. This is a year old, like I said. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think he said everything. Showed you him. He's got a little checkered belly. But yeah, I'm gonna put him back, and yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys want any requested videos or anything, just comment or message me, um, and I'll do them. So yeah, just give me a comment below, and don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.